Hi everybody, welcome back to that Eurovision site. Uh, we are once again continuing on with our Melody Festival in 2024 interviews in the final in Stockholm. And as you can see right beside me, I am joined by Liamo. <laughs> Hello. How are you, Kuya? I, I'm I'm well. I'm I'm amazing. Mm -hmm. I feel amazing. Um, I just had my my first like uh, dry rehearsals, tor riep, yeah. without the microphone, without the the mm -hmm. pyro, without anything. Just like getting into the vibe, and it feels good. Mm -hmm. It was like a month ago. Uh, we were in Gothenburg, I think. So it's a little bit. I just have to remind myself what I did and wake yeah. up the body and everything but it feels amazing I'm mm -hmm. so happy to be here mm -hmm. and now just to say like um, how have you been spending your time since obviously because you had you can you've had a bit of a breather yeah like what have you done since uh, you qualified in your border I've been everywhere I've been going up to Stockholm and doing TV shows, and mm -hmm. I've been here and there, and and I've also been in the studio with Smash Into Pieces because we are gonna drop a song together. Um, yeah, and I've also been to Poland. Yeah. Because I made a song with a Polish uh, guy called Kuba, mm -hmm. Run with Lightning, and uh, it's uh, climbing uh, the the radio charts in Poland. So yeah. I went there to do some radio interviews and TV. Uh, TV performance and everything. And then I came home and I uh, like m uh, my daughter got like a cold, and my my girl also got got a cold. So I I took the car and drove out to my grandparents just to like avoid getting sick. <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, uh, too much of a risk. Yeah. So I've been uh, at the countryside for these last couple of days, mm -hmm. and now I'm here. You're missing your daughter. So much. Yeah. Yeah, I miss her so much, but I cannot risk yeah. getting sick <laughs> now. Yeah. Next week is okay. Yeah, next week is like any week, yeah. any week, any any other yeah, week, but, but not Mellow Week. Yeah, no, because this this week is like the most important week in the whole Melody Festival and season. Yeah. The final week. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna win. Everything is gonna happen. We're in Friends Arena. It's like thirty thousand people mm -hmm. and millions watching. So yeah, and obviously fingers crossed that it might be you. <laughs> fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay then. So um, I wanted to ask you, like, um, obviously, four out of four. Yeah. How does that sit with you that each time that's, you're 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 through to the final? That's unbelievable. That's um, it's. It's a, it's like a streak. That's what you say, right? Yeah. It's like a streak that's unbelievable to qualify directly to the finals four times. Like when I was uh, performing with Bluffing, mm -hmm. I went, I went, I qualified as number one, and now I also qualified as number one. But mm -hmm. 2018 and 2019, they had it in like a, a random yeah. order, so we never knew how. Who, who was the number one? So I don't know about 2018 or 2019, but 2022 and 24, it's it's unbelievable. And to have qualified as number one in uh, mm -hmm. in my hometown, it's it's that's one for the books. I say that's twice, and that's two times I was in it because your first one it was also there, and mm -hmm. it it felt like a homecoming, didn't it? Yeah, 2018 when I when I did my debut. I was in uh, Scandinavia, in Gothenburg, and now we were also in Scandinavia. So it was like coming back where I started, where we mm. started. And it was a very strange feeling in a very good way. It was like seeing an old friend. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it's it's amazing. All right, then. So looking looking ahead now, like we're only a few days away from the final. Yeah. How are your nerves? <laughs> I mean, they have been pretty pretty mm -hmm. calm but as soon as I got up on stage and did my first rehearsal I was like oh I can feel the nerves a little bit but I'm pretty relaxed I remember 2018 and 2019 I could barely sing I could barely move because my legs were like stones they were frozen um, but I feel relaxed now I cannot 
I cannot do more than I do. I can go up, I can sing, I can handle the fire and then just walk off stage. Mm -hmm. What happens, happens and who wins, wins. That's the funny thing with Melo, like people can say what they want, but mm -hmm. anything can happen in this competition. Yeah. You're, it's not over till it's over. Mm -hmm. All right then. So, uh, can we? Ex what can we expect? Did you make any tweaks, or is that? It, it, is that? Is that what? What we saw on the other border is that what we're gonna see? Or like more fire, <laughs> even more fire. Oh my God! I'm sitting near the front. <laughs> I was. I was. I was about to say too bad for you, but you know what? <laughs> if if you wanna like, if you wanna, if you really wanna. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you say? Experience the dragon. Sit close to me because <laughs> it's it's really hot for me. So it should be hot for you. And mm -hmm. you gotta feel the fire. You gotta be in the arena. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's more fire coming. Yeah. Okay. And my final question to you is: Looking at this participation, what do you think? What was the one thing that you learned this time around when you went in? To relax. <laughs> To relax don't think about stuff that you cannot change mm -hmm. like like the voting and everything else and what what people thinks and mm -hmm. of course it matters but that's not uh, something you, that you can change yeah you can only change what you do on stage and you know we cannot wait to see what you'll well and we can't wait to see how you'll perform on Saturday. I'm very, very curious to see that. More fire that you've been talking about. More fire. Okay, then. But, then, but before that, I would say, lick it to the okay. But uh, do you want to invite the viewers to watch the show on Saturday and maybe give them a thanks of a message and maybe to, you know, put install an app on their phone and maybe, you know, send something your way? I hope so. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give give you give you all my best, and I'm gonna try my best, and I'm just gonna go crazy and uh, vote for number ten. All right, then. Liam will be participating to be potentially Sweden's Eurovision 2024 representative with Dragon Tax Week. Liam, <laughs>